Anguttara Nikaya, The Numerical Discourses. Navakanipata, Book of the Nines, Suttas 93 to 432. Ragapeyalan, Abbreviated Repetitions, Starting with Passion. Sutta number 93. Bhikkhus, to directly recognize and know passion, nine perceptions must be developed. What nine? The perception of disgust, the perception of death, the perception of the repulsive nature of food, the perception of dissatisfaction towards all things pertaining to the world, and no longer being affected by the world. The perception of impermanence. The perception of the inherent suffering within impermanence. The perception of the selfless nature of suffering, by no longer identifying with it, or wrongly viewing suffering to be mine anymore. The perception of giving up and the perception of dispassion and cooling off. In this manner, because to directly recognize and know passion, these nine perceptions must be developed. Sutta number 94. Because to directly recognize and know passion, nine states must be developed. What nine? The first jhana must be developed. So must the second jhana be developed, the third jhana, the fourth jhana. The dimension of infinitely boundless space must be developed, as well as the dimension of infinitely boundless consciousness, the dimension of nothingness, the dimension of neither perception nor non-perception, and the attainment of cessation of perceptions and feelings must be developed. In this manner, bhikkhus, to directly recognize and know passion, these nine states must be developed. Suttas 95 to 112 Bhikkhus, to thoroughly recognize and understand the attachment to passion, to thoroughly destroy passion, for the complete giving up of passion, for the ending of passion, for the wiping out of passion, for becoming dispassionate towards all things pertaining to passion and lust, for the cessation of passion, for the abandoning of passion, and for the relinquishing of all passion, and for good, these aforementioned nine qualities must be developed. Suttas 113-132 Bhikkhus, to thoroughly recognize and understand the attachment to hatred, to thoroughly destroy hatred, for the complete giving up of hatred, for the ending of hatred, for the wiping out of hatred, for becoming dispassionate towards all things pertaining to hatred, for the cessation of hatred, for the abandoning of hatred, and for the relinquishing of all hatred, and for good, these aforementioned nine qualities must be developed. Because to thoroughly recognize and understand the attachment to delusion, to thoroughly destroy delusion, for the complete giving up of delusion, for the ending of delusion, for the wiping out of delusion, for becoming dispassionate towards all things pertaining to delusion, for the cessation of delusion, for the abandoning of delusion, and for the relinquishing of all delusion, and for good, these aforementioned nine qualities must be developed. Because to thoroughly recognize and understand the attachment to anger, to thoroughly destroy anger, for the complete giving up of anger, for the ending of anger, for the wiping out of anger, for becoming dispassionate towards all things pertaining to anger, for the cessation of anger, for the abandoning of anger, and for the relinquishing of all anger, and for good, these aforementioned nine qualities must be developed. Because, 
to thoroughly recognize and understand the attachment to animosity, to thoroughly destroy animosity, for the complete giving up of animosity, for the ending of animosity, for the wiping out of animosity, for becoming dispassionate towards all things pertaining to animosity, for the cessation of animosity, for the abandoning of animosity, and for the relinquishing of all animosity, and for good, these aforementioned nine qualities must be developed. Because to thoroughly recognize and understand the attachment to contempt, to thoroughly destroy contempt, for the complete giving up of contempt, for the ending of contempt, for the wiping out of contempt, for becoming dispassionate towards all things pertaining to contempt, for the cessation of contempt, for the abandoning of contempt, and for the relinquishing of all contempt, and for good, these aforementioned nine qualities must be developed. Because to thoroughly recognize and understand the attachment to malice, to thoroughly destroy malice, for the complete giving up of malice, for the ending of malice, for the wiping out of malice, for becoming dispassionate towards all things pertaining to malice, for the cessation of malice, for the abandoning of malice, and for the relinquishing of all malice, and for good, these aforementioned nine qualities must be developed. Because, to thoroughly recognize and understand the attachment to jealousy, to thoroughly destroy jealousy, for the complete giving up of jealousy, for the ending of jealousy, for the wiping out of jealousy, for becoming dispassionate towards all things pertaining to jealousy, for the cessation of jealousy, for the abandoning of jealousy, and for the relinquishing of all jealousy, and for good, these aforementioned nine qualities must be developed. Because, to thoroughly recognize and understand the attachment to stinginess, to thoroughly destroy stinginess, for the complete giving up of stinginess, for the ending of stinginess, for the wiping out of stinginess, for becoming dispassionate towards all things pertaining to stinginess, for the cessation of stinginess, for the abandoning of stinginess, and for the relinquishing of all stinginess, and for good, these aforementioned nine qualities must be developed. Because, to thoroughly recognize and understand the attachment to deceitfulness, to thoroughly destroy deceitfulness, for the complete giving up of deceitfulness, for the ending of deceitfulness, for the wiping out of deceitfulness, for becoming dispassionate towards all things pertaining to deceitfulness, for the cessation of deceitfulness, for the abandoning of deceitfulness, and for the relinquishing of all deceitfulness and for good, these aforementioned nine qualities must be developed. Because to thoroughly recognize and understand the attachment to cunningness, to thoroughly destroy cunningness, for the complete giving up of cunningness, for the ending of cunningness, for the wiping out of cunningness, for becoming dispassionate towards all things pertaining to cunningness, for the cessation of cunningness, for the abandoning of cunningness, and for the relinquishing of all cunningness, and for good, these aforementioned nine qualities must be developed. Because, to thoroughly recognize and understand the attachment to arrogance, to thoroughly destroy arrogance, for the complete giving up of arrogance, for the ending of arrogance, for the wiping out of arrogance, for becoming dispassionate towards all things pertaining to arrogance, for the cessation of arrogance, for the abandoning of arrogance, and for the relinquishing of all arrogance, and for good, these aforementioned nine qualities must be developed. Because, to thoroughly recognize and understand the attachment to impulsiveness, to thoroughly destroy impulsiveness, for the complete giving up of impulsiveness, for the ending of impulsiveness, for the wiping out of impulsiveness, for becoming dispassionate towards all things pertaining to impulsiveness, for the cessation of impulsiveness, for the abandoning of impulsiveness, 
and for the relinquishing of all impulsiveness and for good, these aforementioned nine qualities must be developed. Because to thoroughly recognize and understand the attachment to narcissism, to thoroughly destroy narcissism, for the complete giving up of narcissism, for the ending of narcissism, for the wiping out of narcissism, for becoming dispassionate towards all things pertaining to narcissism, for the cessation of narcissism, for the abandoning of narcissism, and for the relinquishing of all narcissism and for good, these aforementioned nine qualities must be developed. Because to thoroughly recognize and understand the attachment to conceit, to thoroughly destroy conceit, for the complete giving up of conceit, for the ending of conceit, for the wiping out of conceit, for becoming dispassionate towards all things pertaining to conceit, for the cessation of conceit, for the abandoning of conceit, and for the relinquishing of all conceit and for good, these aforementioned nine qualities must be developed. Because to thoroughly recognize and understand the attachment to intoxication, to thoroughly destroy intoxication, for the complete giving up of intoxication, for the ending of intoxication, for the wiping out of intoxication, for becoming dispassionate towards all things pertaining to intoxication, for the cessation of intoxication, for the abandoning of intoxication, and for the relinquishing of all intoxication and for good, these aforementioned nine qualities must be developed. Bhikkhus, to thoroughly recognize and understand the attachment to heedlessness, to thoroughly destroy heedlessness, for the complete giving up of heedlessness, for the ending of heedlessness, for the wiping out of heedlessness, for becoming dispassionate towards all things pertaining to heedlessness, for the cessation of heedlessness, for the abandoning of heedlessness, and for the relinquishing of all heedlessness, and for good, these aforementioned nine qualities must be developed. Now this is what the Blessed One instructed. Meanwhile, the bhikkhus became utterly delighted and inspired on hearing these words spoken by the Blessed One. Sad, 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 sad.